No hace falta. No hace falta. There's no need. Super cool expression. Hey, do you want me to do this? No, no hace falta. No hace falta. Remember the C in Latin America is a S and in Spain is a Th. So today, chicos, we're going to look at this construct. Hacer falta. To be needed. Necessary. So whenever you see hace falta, I want you to remember, okay, it's about need and necessity. Otro ejemplo aquí, chicos, tenemos en un acento español. Hace falta estudiar más para el examen. Hace falta. It's necessary. It's needed to study more for the exam. So that's another example there. Now it gets interesting when you add indirect object pronouns. As a reminder, metele nos os less into the equation. ¿Qué más te hace falta? So a waitress could say to you, ¿Qué más te, object pronoun, indirect object pronoun, hace falta? What more te, to you, hace falta, is necessary? What, what more do you need? Do you need anything else? ¿Qué más te hace falta? And you could say, me hace falta, I need. Me hace falta un cafecito, por favor. So me is to me, and you put that in front of the hace falta. So I need a, a coffee, please. And so if you want a recap on the indirect object pronouns, make sure you check out the video I did ages ago on it. Don't judge me too much, it's a bit embarrassing. And my thoughts have changed slightly on my approach to grammar. I don't want you overthinking this. I want you getting out there, speaking to people. That's the best way to learn, that's the best way to connect with people, which is what it's all about. Hasta luego, chicos. Un abrazo. Chao.